Before climbing the ice, Front Range climbing owner Brian Shelton gears me up in crampons and a harness. First challenge? Just to walk around in the spiked additions to my boots. So in other words, I'm going to walk like this. <laughs> then off we go on a 15-minute trek on the Silver Cascade Trail in Cheyenne Canyon. If you can walk or run half a mile, you will be conditioned enough to come up here and try the ice climbing portion of it. To this, the iced over Helen Hunt Falls. When you get over the top by the trees up there, whether it's on the left or the right side, you're going to hit the vertical section. And that's really where you're going to push your envelope. <laughs> My climbing instructor, Dan, quickly freestyle climbs up the first slope without being harnessed, but he's been climbing for years. For my ice climbing buddy, Nancy, it's a bit intimidating at first. Are you having fun? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, see, did you hear that thud? Yeah, that as sounded good. The, the rattle? That's a good pick right there. And off I go up the ice wall. Climbing! It's a lot of work hoisting yourself up. This is hard. And finding the right toe placement can be challenging. Yeah. But the most challenging part is... Uh, mentally. Doing what we're doing right now, I don't know if you can you even notice it anymore that we're 50 feet off the ground standing on a frozen waterfall. First slope is history as I make it to the ledge. <laughs> Next is the vertical challenge. Good. That sounded pretty good. It wouldn't be beginner ice climbing without some slides and falls. <laughs> but the ropes keep you from falling too far. So this is sort of what it would be like to climb Mount Everest. Well, baby steps are a start. Sometimes what you can do is you can kind of just, you can hit a bunch of small steps. There's coaching the entire way up. And kids as young as eight or nine years old can try ice climbing. They're getting them different movements. They're getting out in the, in the open, out in the wilderness. It's a great team building or Boy Scout troop activity. We do a lot of the rock climbing merit badges. We we bring troops here that want to just to get an experience in the ice climbing. Oh, and it may shake up the family dynamics since women are usually better than men to start. Men are trying to do the, I'm going to burly my way up this or I'm going to use all the muscles I have to get up this and the women are very technical, easy going and it's, it's kind of a, it's fun to watch. <laughs> Brian has some great advice on taking to the ice. Believe in yourself, you can do it. It's not out of your reach at all. Try something new. It's definitely something different to take a swing at. After I make it 85, 90 feet up, feet flat. it's time to sit back, rappel down, and enjoy the ride after the climb.